actually have some real questions. So there are reports that you are going to include in your state of the state um, uh, asking the state to approve sports betting and legalizing marijuana. I wondered if you could talk to me about both of them and why you think that's important in terms of revenue streams for this year. Yes. Look, we're going to turn to Washington for uh, compensation from uh, as crime victims, as I call it, with a slight rhetorical flourish. Uh, but we're also uh, going to do our part to raise revenue. And two places where we can raise revenue, uh, one is sports betting, and I'm going to ask Rob to explain how we want to do sports betting. We want to do sports betting the way the state runs the lottery, Marsha, where the state gets the revenues. Many states have done sports betting, but they basically allow casinos to run their own gambling operations. That makes a lot of money for casinos, but it makes minimal money for the state. Uh, and I'm not here to make casinos a lot of money. I'm here to uh, raise funds for the state. So we have a different model for sports betting. Uh, and then recreational marijuana, I think this should have been passed years ago. Uh, I think too many people have been uh, imprisoned and incarcerated and punished. Uh, too many of those people are black, Latino, and poor. Uh, it's exaggerated the injustice of the justice system. Uh, and uh, so I've supported it uh, for years. I've tried to pass it. But this is a year where we do need the funding, and a lot of New Yorkers are struggling. Uh, so uh, I think this year will have will give us the momentum to get it over the goal line. Rob, do you want to speak about sports betting, though? Because there's a very big difference in the way we intend to do it. So the, the, the narrative out there has been that the state is losing billions of dollars to other states uh, to sports betting. Um, but the, the reality is that the billions of dollars that are being wagered and the, and the monies that are being made are not being made by the taxing jurisdictions. New Jersey, for example, which is the most commonly used example, in the entire three years of sports betting, um, they've collected less than $80 million dollars actually only $45 million in 12 months, compared to you know, the billions that are being talked about. The reason being, everyone else is making a lot of money off sports betting. The jurisdiction where it's in the state is not. There are a few states that have done it a different way, where the state is contracts with the private sector who runs the sports books, but the state ends up getting the majority of what is left over after everything is returned uh, to the betters. So the difference between the two estimates would be between the state making somewhere in the neighborhood of $50 million a year versus $500 million a year. So the way the governor is proposing it and we'll advance it is so that the state can get up to $500 million a year instead of 50, and that money would then go to uh, the state budget. Otherwise, for the betters, it's seamless and it's exactly the same. The only difference is the state gets the money versus um, others. And that's, that's, uh, that's the proposal which you'll see uh, when the governor puts out his executive budget. Rob, how much do we think we would raise from marijuana? Marijuana has a longer uh, just runway by the, time you, by the time you set it up, but by the time it's fully effective uh, under our proposal, you'll get about $300 million a year, but again, that will take several years to get up to those numbers. And again, marijuana, as everyone knows, Massachusetts has legalized marijuana, New Jersey is going to legalize marijuana, so uh, what are we really talking about at this point? 